So here's the lady that just tried setting me up walking up the hill. I'll just show you. That lady right there, she just tried setting me up in Polk Stars. When she walked by, she came to Canada basically to set me up. So here's her plane ticket. And they're gonna rip me off uh, money on Polk Stars. Because when I went to uncheck weed for Big Blind, I had to press it twice. That's how they ripped me off. Here's the dispatch and the people that are trying to kill me on my trip. Here's the people trying to psyche condition artificial intelligence uh, pretended to be me, so dispatching them. This is a threat to mankind. They're trying to influence uh, machines that could uh, be uh, responsible for many deaths. They commit. Here's the people that commit genocide every day. There's that buddy around me trying to set me up. There's the Canadian government trying to, uh, there's the Canadian government trying to set up uh, other countries if I do seek asylum there. So this can be proof for when I do seek asylum.
Getting all the people around me. It is the countries they're from right there. They're international terrorists. That cyclist tried set me up. And here's the proof of it right there. Now Pokestars is making me sit out even though the, you can clearly see the game going on. I'm online because they're playing in real time. I pressed on back. You can see me press on back four times. One, two, three. <coughs> <coughs> There's Poke Stars trying to set me up. <coughs> so you can clearly see that it was online, so here's more proof. This is how they rid me off my experience, so I'm gonna have punitive damages against them. They rip me off money, they rip me off time, they rip me off experience. <coughs> Here's how much money they rip me off. <coughs> <coughs> I ran into East King or Aces when I had East King. When I have Aces, I lose to East King in that scenario. Every time I'm starts. Every fucking time. <coughs> All I have to do is look at my last last ten times I had Aces and we'll see how many times I lost Poker Stars. You break me off every time. Every fucking time on Poker Stars. <coughs> <coughs> so they're taking a long time they're trying to register me out here I'll show you why it's, it was the guy on the left and those some of one of these people over here so they came to the city just to register me basically you know I got up super early today so they Wasted the, they didn't even get to sleep in their fucking hotel because I got up early so they're making all these people do a bunch of things that they never would have done. <coughs> but uh panhandling and so yesterday I panhandled probably like eight hours. Twenty five hundred people walked by me and I got five bucks. But in the system, they're, they're gonna say that I got like over $100 or millions of dollars. Five bucks, I got less than a penny per person. Less than a penny per person. And the government of Canada manipulates good people from uh, preventing them from giving me money. So they hijack them, violate their human experience, manipulate their thoughts, and prevent them from giving me money. They hide my soul. If I show my natural aura, then people are way more friendlier to me. They they spoof, their, they make their aura look like mine because how pleasant my aura is. 
And here's the predators that do that, show their natural. I bluffed them. I said I was going to seek asylum in Denmark, and so they had this lady that I saw at asylum before uh, just kind of uh, pay attention to me. And it's like as if I would seek asylum in the same country that denied me, even though I do have more proof this time. But why would I go to that country when I know they're on the take? When I know she got a fucking couch set for denying me. And this other guy's like, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm biologically immortal. He's like, well, people only want to live 100 years. Who the fuck are you to decide for mankind how long people want to live? <laughs> Fucking idiot. People only want to live for 100 years. No, people want to live forever if they're forever young. If their body's not in pain and people aren't dying around them, their family particularly and their friends, they want to live fucking forever. But if you grow old, age, and decrepit, of course you don't want to live forever. But I never should grow old. So unless, like, my body's coming apart, like, I'm probably going to want to live forever. Like, unless, uh, I'm suffering for an, an incredibly long time, I'm probably going to want to ride it out. <laughs> Only want to live a hundred years. Fucking guy. Here's what he looks like. His name is Michael, I believe. <coughs> this is uh, the tournament you had that step two you have to play fast because uh you only get 10 big blinds they're still trying to make me come last in a tournament but it's virtually fucking impossible Last 50 tournaments I've been in. Didn't even come close to last. Maybe in that eight player one in game six. Didn't even come close to last. I'll probably never come last again. Maybe not never, almost never, because I'd fold pocket aces. Because I know they would set me up to come last. Because they're cocksuckers like that. You'll, you'll see this, the hands that they, uh, they'll beat me with. And Pokestars manipulates uh, the turn and river after my decision making now. Before the cards used to be uh, determined pre, like pre-flop, like pre but now they're determined after the flop because I, I win too often. So I noticed that they, and here's the proof of the software change right there. So they're complicit. They're uh, keeping me from gaining, making money, getting famous, and advocating for privacy of thought. So they're in any me combatant to the system and to mankind. They're a terrorist organization, to, in my opinion. The money, money launder. Here's their money launder account right there. And here's their terrorist affiliations right there. So focus stars won't be around in 10 years, guaranteed. All they had to do is not rip me off and they never would have got on my radar. People don't realize that. You treat me like shit, then I'm gonna treat you like shit when I have an opportunity to. I'm gonna reciprocate. My landlord's a prick, so as soon as I am king of the world, I get to be a prick to him. I get to be a prick to him. But one of my roommates, he does the same thing as my landlord. He's not a prick to me. So I'm not going to be a prick to him.
people treat me like shit, I'm going to be a prick to you. I'm going to find every fucking law to fucking violate your human experience. Getting evil cops that are trying to set me up right now with the lights. Car number 202. How many times has he set me up today? I'm the true king of the world, so Canada is a commonwealth country, right? So I'm, I have a, a definite claim to the United Kingdom. So that means these cops are servants of mine, not Justin Trudeau's. The fucking crown. It's a crown country. That's why Justin Trudeau is not on the fucking bill. I requested them to put. Make make somebody look like me on the Canadian dollar, and I'll show you what the hundred dollar bill looks like. He kind of looks like me. I'll show you in a second here. So I think the river kind of uh, won it for him. Okay, so here we go. That's the 2011 one, so that's not really it, so. Maybe, maybe it's the 50. I think it's the 50. I don't, the 50 is too much. This one, he kind of looks like me. But there was another one. I did see it, and uh, what I would have looked like if I was older. But anyways, one day, if Canada exists, my face is gonna be on one of their bills. Maybe not, maybe not. I doubt my face will be. Actually, one of them will be. Because, uh, taking a cue read out of the Roman Emperor playbook is to put your face on coins so the populace knows what you look like. So I'll have probably the, probably the lowest domin denomination bill will be, uh, my face. And then my mom and dad will have because they birthed me, so they'll they'll have a bell in their prime. Maybe not. Actually, I want them to look older than me. Just like uh, me and my kids, we both, should, all three of us, we shouldn't age, right? Like I should uh, probably looked around 25 forever. But now that they have aged me, I'll probably try to look a couple of years older than my kids. So I, I look like the dad when we're together, not just the friend. I might even look... Because here's Antonius Prius, right? So I look like uh, Roman emperors, and I'll show you another one.
this one particularly, the eyes, anyways. And uh, there was a, there's more. There's about five in a row that I look. Uh, that particularly this one, right? You can see the resemblance in that. Not the nose, but the eyes, right? But anyways, so here's uh, so here's what I looked like about forty. Here, here's what I looked like at a as a baby. So they've been violating me. It's an electronic pedophile system. So they've been violating me ever since I looked like that. And there's the violators right there. They were violating me as a baby. And here's what I looked like at nineteen. So I was offered a. A model and tryout in New York City at that point but I turned it I didn't even go and so I'm probably about 40 here so I might look this age or this age so I look older than my kids basically so since I'm gonna be able to control it in, in my brain and have technology control my age I'll probably just stay around that age so I look like I'm uh, 10 years older than them at least. So I look like the dad basically. So when I'm with my daughter, I don't, we don't look like we're a couple. So there's been about 40 people that walked by. So everyone that pretended to give me money, get them right there. Like, look at the cup's empty. They uh, they pretend to give me money and then uh, to avoid their feed in the system. Because they rip me off every day. So see that? See how that guy's walking with his hand in his pocket? That's suspicious. People don't. He was sending me. People don't walk with their hand in the pocket downhill. You lose your balance. You lose your balance. Most people don't walk with their hand in their pocket like that. When we rest, we walk with our hand. We have. We put our hand in our pocket. When we're walking, we don't walk with our hand in our pocket. So when you see somebody with their hand in their pocket, they're trying to uh, set you up with software. Most likely. Just pay attention to it. You'll see that most people, when they're walking, they never have their hand in their pocket. But when we stand still, we put our hand in our pocket. I'm an observation behavioral specialist, basically. That's what makes me so good at poker. And when I was filming, the guy that had his hand in the pocket, his teammate was the guy behind him. That's why he looked back at me when I was filming. And here's the cons they were trying to set me up for because now my nose is about to run. I have to blow my nose now. So I think he's from Italy, the second guy. <coughs> Here's this organization in Italy. I don't know why they would fuck with me. I'm the guy that they can't kill because they need me because they, they leech off my body. So my body's like a battery to them. So if they, if they harm me whatsoever, it's less battery for them. So they can't leech off me as much. What they should be doing is making the top members amputees so they can't 
leech off me as much, then the lower members get more energy. So to facilitate that maneuver right there. Because even if my skin's burned, that's less battery. Even if I lose some teeth, there's less nerves. Even if I'm paralyzed, it, there's the nerves aren't there, right? So there's less battery. So that means I'm fucking unscathed. Even if I get a scar, the indentation of the scar is less battery over time. It adds up. So the same would go for me and my kids. Yeah, if I was an evil person in the network, I'd be trying to make as many evil people above me amputees. So they couldn't, they didn't need as much energy to charge their body. I'd be trying to make every one of them. Every one of them. Makes sense, right? If the boss only needs 50% of the battery, that means there's 50% for you. But if he needs 100%, that means you get zero. Your soul is naked when you die. Your soul is naked when you die. Your soul is naked when you die. Here's all the electronic crimes they're trying to set me up for, up for right now, all these people. That's why I sing that song. Because some of these people are electronic violators of mine, right? So I want them to hear this as they walk by. If your soul is naked when you die, you can't hide your electronic crimes. And here's more proof of their electronic crimes against me and the countries that they came from. young guy just uh, tried setting me up. I started to drool on out of my left side of my lip. And uh, so they're trying to set me up for this con. So they, it just clearly showed that guy's face. And he's most likely a Canadian. So he's probably gonna get fucking sent up to the fucking Baffin Islands or some somewhere way up in the Arctic. Prison camp up there. Pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. He caught the fucking street. Another scenario where I knew they were bluffing and uh, they rivered me. It's a common trend on poker stars. So that's how I know they uh, they manipulate the cards while the hands lie because uh, there's hands when I know they're bluffing and it always happens. I always get rivered always get rivered they always make a pair and usually when i when i do it i have high card and i and i know they're bluffing and uh so that's how the system punishes me because i i don't even have a pair but i know they're bluffing and i could get them to fold but they hit the fucking river so they call The diamond probably came, the flush probably came through for somebody. They wanted me to, uh, I'm gonna keep this because uh, all the evidence I have of, of these people. They did want me to lose the tournament, so I would delete the video, but uh, fuck that. I got too much proof of all these predators near me in Niagara Falls here, Ontario, it's August 4th, 2024. There's some more predators coming, here's what they're trying to set me up for now. So, on 
uninstall the mods to make them appear normal. And there's their sexual deviances. Here's the mods that make me appear to be a predator, and here's my normal. So it's a pot calling the kettle black system. They've spent trillions of dollars to try to cultivate sexual deviance in me. And my kids, and my unborn grandkids are gonna experience the same thing, and my unborn great grandkids, right? It, unless I defeat the system. So to get all the violators that want to violate my unborn great grandkids right there, fools i'm aware of the system like yesterday they made uh made me have varicose veins in my thigh and i noticed it and uh first time ever it's like what the fuck is this right so i filmed it and then four minutes later it was less and then two hours later it was gone and i filmed it on three different films three di three different videos and i had and on the video i uploaded to youtube i showed the date of each of the videos to show that it was the same day and you can see the scar on my leg to show that it's me in all three videos. So they, it shows how they biologically use chemical warfare on my body basically. And the, chemi the Canadian government's responsible right there. There's their complicity. And once again, I'm the true king of Canada, right? So that's a sedition and uh, high treason charges. So they're rallying behind the third string quarterback, basically uh, King Charles on the first string, right? So they're gonna face consequences in the future. I believe they, uh, my dad was supposed to be cremated and my mom was supposed to be cremated, but I believe they have their corpse somewhere and they're still leeching attributes, their DNA off their corpse. So I'm gonna find it and uh, there's the location right there if it does exist. I believe they severed my dad's penis and they used it as a talisman. Like, they're monsters. Because my dad was well endowed. And uh, from what I could hear from my mom and my stepmom. The whole house heard. The whole fucking house heard. So when I was an adult, when I was a dad, every time my wife got loud, I started kissing her. Every time she got loud, I kissed her to shut her up. Because I knew what it was like to be a kid and just hear mom and mom enthralling, just loving life. So every single time, if I'm having sex with a woman and there's a kid in the house and she starts getting noisy, I uh, start kissing. It's like, I'm going to kiss you so you can't say stuff. Can you violators me right there, near me right here, where they live, and here's their home location. Can people with rape suits right there, and the location. Pretty soon, Canada won't be able to censor me because I'm going to be in a different country. Yeehaw. And I won't be playing on Poker Stars because Poker Stars is too corrupt. See, this is a hand where he, unlike, it's unlikely that he has anything here, but he's going to hit the river. Let's see his bet, though. It's a nice size bet. I don't think he has it, though. But I think he has the four now. So he didn't murder me. And that was a situation, like, where I knew he was bluffing. I had high card. It's so predictable. These people are so predictable to me. Poke players. Any these enemy combatants near me, here they are right there. 
I'm lighting these people up. And uh, right there, there's celebrities like Messi. So getting him, he was aware of that right now. There's Messi at home. And here's how he violates my son and daughter right there. I'm gonna post this online. Even if I lose all my money, they're gonna try hard to make me lose all my money now. Nobody wants to see an athlete that takes a hundred people to make them look good. Right, when my son, it takes him to look good. Only my son takes my son's only his own only his, his own ability to make him look good they just had some little retard right there because they're an enemy combatant just hacked my brain so I couldn't speak and they think I have feel sorry that I called them a retard when they just made me uh, when they're trying to discredit me and uh, make me seem less intelligent Even though with nanotechnology, eye cameras, you could, with Bluetooth, you could wirelessly communicate to nanotechnology in your brain by the optic nerve responsible for vision, which then could project an image to your mind's eye, making blind people fucking able to see, right? So they try to discredit me and uh, when I'm that smart, when I, when I could come up with technology to make blind people able to see and I emailed uh, the Canadian National Institute of the Blind and here's the perpetrator right there that did nothing about it and uh, and here's blind people that use this technology to violate innocent people and they did nothing about it and when I said that they just tried to make me fall over in my chair I'm sitting on a chair and they just made me try to fall over because I called out some little retard kid that's an enemy combatant that they're not mentally challenged so I could call them a retard if they were mentally challenged and they had a cognitive disability then I wouldn't call somebody retarded but if you're if you're a capable person and you make poor decisions I could call you a fucking retard because you're a monster Here's her little pedophile crimes and monster crimes. Here's how many kills she has. She's a little monster. I don't feel sorry for these little monsters. These little enemy combatants, I'm not gonna feel sorry when I execute them. I will not feel sorry. They, they're killing good kids. Here's the good kids that they killed. So they kill good kids. So in the future, when moms and dads see this, they're not going to care that these little parasite kids die over good kids. They don't want your kid, who should be the smartest kid in class, uh, be one of the dumbest kids in class to make other kids smarter. They don't want that. They don't want... I don't want to have people leech strength off me to make them be the strongest people in the world. Or my speed to make them the fastest runner in the world. Like Usain Bolt did and whoever the strongest man in the world is. Right? I don't want that. I'm pretty sure I would rather do that myself. I'd want that accolade myself. I'd want the, the, the world record. I'm pretty sure I'd want that rather than somebody else. Using my attributes to get the world record. Right? They're, they're manufactured cheats. That's all. In the future, in like 20 years from now, all sports... From 2024 before then is pretty much rigged the best guy on the team is probably on the bench or getting very few minutes and uh, they're leeching off him to make the stars on the team shine right and there's a subliminal system and on the field and on the court and on the ice that uh, we're at, as long as they step on a certain spot on the ice they're guaranteed to score or miss right so sports is rigged Gambling's rigged. If you if you think that sucks, you gotta privatize your thoughts and go to www.change.org slash technology. Watch the video. Fucking computer assisted telepathy is possible. You know, we hear our thoughts. Like think about that. We hear them. That means other people could hear them if they amplify that sound remotely. 
It's that fucking simple. So you gotta privatize your thoughts. Go to www.change.org slash technology. Because we, like a dog whistle, right? They have a dog whistle that uh, you blow the whistle. I'd, it doesn't hurt my ears, but it hurts dogs' ears. So if scientists were able to figure out how to amplify sounds for dogs and not humans, now it must be plausible that they could amplify our internal voice and hear it remotely. And I have video proof on, on my petition. It's called computer assisted telepathy. But nowadays with nanotechnology, it's wireless. Like here's all the per perpetrators listening to my thoughts right now walking by me. And here's all the crimes that they do and unmodel them to make them appear how they really are. So I say this transparently and nobody says shit because they're enemy combatants. If I said this, if I start calling them, saying this shit to other people like that, that weren't in the system, they might be like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? But these people are enemy combatants, so they take it fucking dry. There could be a group of guys and I'll call them right out just talking that they might be electronic violators and they don't say shit. Not a fucking thing. They just pretend it doesn't happen. Case in point right there. They just walked by. I just said all that shit and they didn't say a fucking thing to me. Because they're pretending they're not electronic violators. Here's a list of their past crimes in the five days. They partially... People are, these people are responsible for genocide every day. Over 100,000 people die unnecessarily every day. So genocides being... Here's the top leaders for the genocide board right there. You see, they rally behind it right now because uh, they have government power, right? But once I have official power, they're not going to be able to hide behind these systems. And it's going to be transparent. And it's going to be like Mussolini. He's, leaders are going to be dragged through the streets, kicked and hung and strung and lynched by the population in some countries. You know, because that's the passion of the people. It's unlikely gonna happen in Canada because it's a uh, public executions aren't really acceptable here. But that doesn't mean Justin Trudeau is not gonna be ex or extradited to a country where public ex executions are are more acceptable, right? He might get the plane trip experience. The plane trip experience is uh, where... So you got to understand, he's been responsible. Here's the most gruesome murders he's responsible for. And the fire murders right here. And maiming and amputees right there. So he's been responsible for some pretty horrific things and uh so there's zero fucking chance he's gonna get a lethal injection execution a hanging execution his execution is gonna involve some sort of pain because he's caused pain in other people's deaths if he was a gentle killer that would be one thing but he's maimed people he'd burn people severely right and uh, so the plane trip experience is possibly toss him a as long as the general public wants this, this is what I want, right? But, uh, and I can prove the soul exists right here. So, and uh, God saved my life. So if anybody could ever claim that they're the God incarnate, I would have that claim. And a lot of people would believe me, right? Once they see who I'm a descendant of. But I would never, I think I'm God's warrior, not God's incarnate. But anyways, God's angel, I'd prefer. But anyways, so the plane trip experience is lighting them on fire and the parachute would have if he reformed and uh he said the right things and as we're listening to his mind as he's plumbing into his death and the fire would burn through the parachute if he didn't and he would die right if he reforms the fire would be extinguished and then he would land to the ground and he'd have to suffer in pain and then uh and then he's additional consequences right if he 
it, it depends who he pleads to. Is he going to plead to God or Satan at that point? Right. I know what kind of, uh, how he tries to repent. Right, because you free fall for 80 seconds, right? So that's 80 seconds we can listen to his thoughts and uh, to see if he's worthy of further punishment, further pain, Because he, they want to, they develop technology. So when I take a shower, it's something like equivalent to like over a thousand degrees on my skin. So they try, they develop technology to try to burn me in the shower. And recently, when I've been going to McDonald's, uh, the coffee is always way too hot, and I have to taste it to make sure because I drink it with milk instead of cream. So I always have to taste it to see if uh, if it's right. And they intensify, they lower my pain, make it so I feel pain more on my lower, my inner lip, and they intensify the heat from the coffee, right, to try to torture me, right? So some of these people that do that, right, they're going to get forced, that's how they're going to drink their food. The same consequences that they put issued on my body, I'm going to have developed a, a device that forces their mouth open and then pour coffee into their mouth with the same same thresholds that my body was imposed under. And uh, see how they like it. Right? Anything they've done to my body, once I'm king of the world, I'm going to do to their body. Anything they've done to good people, good private thought people that believe they have their, they're innocent in their own little world, they have their own brain just to themselves, and that were violated, killed, maimed, or tortured, I'm standing up for them. So any of those consequences, they're going to get. They have It's like a Russian roulette. They have that possibility. They could avoid it if they die before I'm king of the world. But if I'm king of the world, I'm going to advocate and use all my influence throughout the world to make the strictest punishments for these predators because they cause pain in people's lives. All they do is cause misery and, and, and malice and chaos. Right? So they shouldn't have a swift, easy death. You know, mercy to the guilty is cruelty to the innocent. And they tell me this on Facebook. They tell me these things. Like, like condescendingly, they tell me these things, right? So they tell me how the club acts. Right, and one thing they, they tell me too is, uh, and this is good to know, is uh, for about computer-assisted telepathy, is you could deny reality that computer assisted telepathy doesn't exist, right? But you can't deny the consequences of denying that reality. So if you pretend computer assisted telepathy doesn't exist and you have your own private thoughts, you're delusional, first of all. And because uh, I'm telling you, it's possible scientifically. And it's not going to protect you. Pretending people can't listen to your thoughts isn't going to protect you from them listening to your thoughts. The only way that you're going to protect yourself from people listening to your thoughts is to advocate for www.change.org slash technology. Sign the petition, share it on social media so it goes viral around the world, right? And then uh, contribute money to get it on the agenda so the government can acknowledge the system and a civilian and military oversight committee can be set up to keep Big Brother in check because we do need software, computers to privatize our thoughts to protect us. Like for the rest of mankind's existence, we're going to need computers to privatize our, our biology because uh, we're made up of water. Water conducts electricity. You should know this because uh, if you've ever been shocked, we conduct electricity, right? So our brain is basically a motherboard that could be hacked, literally. And they could hack your DNA to cause disease, like malware. That's how how vulnerable it is. Like I'll, I'll just show you. Like they, This is what they've been trying to do. Astro So you can read this here. Exploding cigar, scuba.
but they could hack your DNA, like particularly right with the big con that they did was uh, with COVID. COVID was almost certainly manufactured. Here's the lab right here and how they manufactured it from my DNA right there. And uh, so I never got COVID. I never got sick from COVID whatsoever. Like not one bit over those four, four, three, four years, whatever it went on. Didn't get sick at all. And uh, yeah, I don't think he has it, but I'm calling. He had the king. I didn't think he had the jack though. So anyways, COVID happened and uh, they got people to get their COVID shot. So when people got their COVID shot, it gave people, here's the people that violate people that get COVID shots right there. But they, a lot of people develop diseases afterwards because uh, they know your genetic vulnerabilities now because you voluntarily gave the government your DNA. You voluntarily gave the government your DNA so now they could hack you and, uh, and kill you. So protect yourself. Go there, www.change.org slash technology because they're trying to kill you. And if you don't, if you look there and, and you don't go there, you're probably going to die, man. You're probably going to die. So sign the petition. you got fucking nothing to lose right they can't kill everybody that signed the petition it's going to be suspicious so sign the fucking petition and then share it multiple times on different social media So I basically, uh, I'm going to prove this. Uh, so here's the proof there that my landlord tried, made me piss my bed the other day. After I, uh, they're going to get a $25,000 fine soon. They, they uh, tried to give me notice after I complained about my Wi-Fi and uh, how they stashed their their chair by the can and stuff like that. They would see me out on, smoking on the chair. They wouldn't say anything. And then they would stash it under the stairs. Then I grab it under the stairs. Then they would see me on the chair. They wouldn't say anything this would go on for months and then so eventually my wi-fi went out i went over uh 50 gigs of data and i didn't realize and uh went over 50 gigs of data so when i mentioned it to her in july she's like nobody complain it I said, that is the worst fucking english i've ever heard in my life nobody complain it it's like nobody has ever complained but you would be the proper way to say it and another thing is just like don't put the foods in the microwave like you got two foods it's no don't put the food in the microwave Kim anyways so there she's hoping she could get some sort of slander but it's true and you electronically violated me so you wouldn't be able to use that in court bitch The slander is only if it's untrue. So anyways, she's not the smartest knife in the drawer. So she uh, sent me, uh, put a letter on my door. First of all, they wrote the letter, typed it out as July 1st, and it was August, or July 5th, right? So, and then the dummy on the back of the, the letter, she writes July 5th. So you can see how she was trying to be deceptive. And then she's like, I need my office space back. It's like, whoa, first of all, you moved two people in after me, dummy. And uh, that means they would have to move out before me. And so that was strike one for her, her plan. And then secondly, she's like, it's an office space. So wow, that's an illegal rental. And that's a $25,000 fucking fine. And, uh, it, and if it's a legal rental, in an office space, you're probably not claiming that at income tax time. Wow, that's tax evasion. That's punishable. That's prison sentence. Right? So I'm going to find out the zoning and uh, they're pricks to me. They tuck away toilet paper, Netflix, fucking chairs. 
And the guy I had the nerve, he's like, you can't sit on my chairs anymore. So now I have to sit on the fucking ground. Right. So I told him, in, uh, right, straight up in the in the text message, I'm like, what, when I'm when I'm holding all the cards, I'm gonna be as prickly as you are, right? Because this guy, every he's abrasive. Every single like he walks his mannerisms, like his body language, like. I want to punch him in the face, his body language. Like just, I'm such an easy going guy, but he's a splinter. He goes against the grain. I'd never punch him unless he got aggressive with me. Then I would knock him out. I wouldn't fucking hesitate. I want him to get aggressive with me. So I told him anyways, like there he is listening to me right now. Right, so I told him anyways, don't talk to me in person communicate by text not even a fucking hello i didn't even i didn't swear but not even a hello communication by text so if you have a prick landlord make sure you document everything by text and don't even talk to them in person say communicate by text then you have proof because they uh people in power always try to exploit their power most of the time You know, once I'm king of the world, the only time I'm ever going to exploit my power is to issue, to make sure there's enough pain in during these executions for these people. That's the only time I'm going to exploit my power. Because I've never, I never wanted power. Never wanted power in my life. I wanted to be anonymously rich because I had a, my great grandfather owned a factory and uh so he had workers and my grandfather had servants and my dad had servants until nine and i grew up poor so i wanted to re restore my family's greatness and uh develop some product right like like for instance within the last two weeks i came up with many things but the stuff i'll give away for free is a helicopter that has out of the router, it could project a parachute to slow the descent, prevent uh, preventing some deaths, right? So that that's how easily it is for me to invent. And I just gave that away to the helicopter industry for free. Like nothing, like fucking nothing, nothing. Unless they electronically violated my thoughts and they didn't watch this video yet. So anyways, there's that, and there was a war tech. I have to mention this war tech. Oh yeah, okay, that's what it was. So what I would do in a war zone is I would have artificial intelligence landmines. So I'd have landmines in an area and they would be artificially intelligence controlled. So they wouldn't, so the enemy would walk in an area and they think they would be safe and then I would be able to detonate them with artificial intelligence when I wanted to, where I, when they felt they was safe, when they felt they were safe, then I would detonate. Right. So I have to say this because they would make it inert, right? Yeah. After the war, like should the war end? Because the problem with landmines, landmines suck, right? But it's a brutality of war. But they're after the war, they kill a lot of people or maim a lot of people. But at least with artificial intelligence landmines uh they could be inert after the war and only be activated uh by command basically right so that means kids won't step on them and kill them and blow off their legs and shit like that right so that's the only reason why i try to develop that technology conceived it. but that's how easy it is for me to develop technology and they keep me poor like panhandling like i've been here this whole video and about 100 people walk by and that's exactly how much I got and I mentioned three fucking ways to change mankind in this video three three different ways to, to change mankind one to make the blind to be able to see one to save lives with helicopters and one to pre prevent any innocent casualties basically it's collateral damage and they keep me fucking poor they rip me off at poker to keep me poor so I have to panhandle because uh, Canada thinks if they give me money they can listen to my thoughts not a fucking chance not a chance because I did say that these enemy combatants of mine if they gave me a dollar they could listen to my thoughts for a minute to get enemy combatants but they never do 
They never do. They take advantage. They take advantage of my attributes. I don't want to fucking send from them. I want them to die, really. That's all I want from them. I want them to die the most painful death so maybe their afterlife isn't as suffering for them. So once again, here's Pokestars make me sit out as the action. You can clearly see me online because the rest of the players are playing. And this is how they rip me out. They finally said I'm back. So I pressed I'm back again. I'm back. The site's a fucking joke. Anyways, I guess that'll be the end of this video because there's probably no tournaments coming on. <coughs> well, there's a $3 tournament in an hour, so if I make three bucks. <coughs> Yeah, it's so funny uh, it's how the government rigs it, right? Because I run into other panhandlers. They ask me how I'm doing or whatever. And they're like, yeah, I made 75 bucks in 15 minutes. Me, eight hours yesterday, made five bucks. Five bucks. And this country wants shit for me in the future. So they'll get fuck all, right? I'm gonna, I have a long memory, the best memory on the planet like, when, it's un, when it's not hindered. And I'm gonna remember every fucking grievance and help hold them accountable forever, right? As long as it takes. They ripped me off the fourplex. They stole fucking technology. Made me homeless. Made me miss teeth now. So when I when I, I don't have two molars that I should have had forever, right? And get in the dentist right there. Both of them responsible for that. Gave me scars. I got a pimple last year and it turned into be a fucking scar. I'll show you on my face. And this was from a pimple. So they hacked my body to do this. Somewhere on here, right, right there. Right there, that, that was a pimple that I picked and it turned out to be a scar. So they hacked my body to make, give me a scar basically. So they tried to mutilate me, right? They mutilate me by scarring me. That's what this is, mutilation, chemical mutilation, right? So here's Justin Trudeau's criminal network. He's a terrorist, he's a chemical, he commits genocide and uh, uses chemical weapons on his civil, like citizens. This is his favorite chemical weapon. He thinks I care about him. I, I could give a flying fuck about him. I can't wait to execute you. That was lucky, I didn't care though. So that'll be the end of this video. I gotta post this video because uh, even though it's not the best poker video, but I got a lot of subliminal proof that I'm gonna need in the future to bring down these tyrants. So here's another video to watch right there, subliminal evidence. That one's gonna be good. So go to www. Oh, here's uh, another one here, varicose veins disappearing. I just posted that. That's proof, I have video proof, three different videos. And here's a song I wrote, Soul, Poker Dancer. You have to go Chris Meyer Diggins and then you would have to type in the exact verbatim uh, title because uh, the government censors my, how makes it hard for people to find my videos. You have to put in Chris Meyer Diggins Soul or Chris Meyer Diggins Poker Dancer 2. If you put in Poker Dancer 2, watch. Put in Poker Dancer 2. Nobody on YouTube should have Poker Dancer 2, so I should be the first fucking video.
Poker Dancer 2. Okay, it's, so Poker Dancer 2 came up. Surprisingly. And here he is right there. There was the enemy combatant right there. I don't want to isolate his name right now, but they know who they are, and I'll know who they are in the future. Woo! So let's see here. Fountain of Youth is another video. It shows me uh, having wrinkles in a video on YouTube from four years ago, and then uh, another video from YouTube from three years ago. I don't have wrinkles. And now I don't have those wrinkles five years later or four years later. So once again, go to www.change.org technology.